Hi guys, I'm pro artist Holly and it's Halloween time. Follow along to learn this easy 1970s disco themed Halloween makeup. I've prepped my skin using the Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation SPF 15. In the 70s they loved a good contour so I've done that using the bronzing powder and I've also given myself a slightly thinner arch brow using the perfectly defined longwear brow pencil. So we're gonna go straight into eyes and I'm gonna be using the Longwear Cream Shadow Sticks. First, I'm gonna use the shade Dusty Mauve, which is a beautiful plum gold shade. And as you can see, it super brightens and has a soft shimmer to really lift the eyes. Where to apply it? I'm just literally gonna draw straight onto the eyelid all the way up. And I'm actually gonna take this a little bit higher than the crease. And I'm also going to connect it to the bottom lashes to really outline and soften that edge. With my fingers, I'm then just going to buff the edges, bringing it further up towards the brow. And then with my little finger, I'm just going to blend the bottom lashes as well. So next I'm going in with the shade Bark in the Longwear Cream Shadow Stick. I love this shade, it's a rich brown shade. I'm literally just gonna apply this along the top lashes, like an eyeliner. But what I love about this product is that I don't have to create a straight line. So I like to do dot to dot motions to really help get as close to the lash line as possible. And then I'm going to use my fingers again, no brushes, and just buff the edges into the dusty mauve shade. And you'll see it easily blends together. I'm also going to take a tiny bit just to really outline and define the bottom lash line. Because at the end of the day, this is a disco themed 70s look. Next, I'm taking this beautiful brand new palette from the Christmas collection, the Lux Precious Metals Eyeshadow Palette. You can see I've already had a play with this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this pink shade here. I'm literally, again, no brushes required. And I'm just gonna go straight in with my finger and press this from the inner corner all the way to the crease. I really want this to really brighten and lift the eyes. And I'm just gonna take it just a little bit higher onto that brow bone. To finish off the eyes, I'm going in with the Smoky Eye Mascara. This mascara delivers high drama and builds volume lash by lash. My biggest pro tip on applying mascara is to go right into the roots of the lashes and wiggle through to the edges. And again, tilting your head and looking down into your mirror will really help you to see where to apply it. And I'm gonna give myself a really beautiful, thick looking lash as I want my eyes to really stand out. And then when we do the bottom lashes, hold the brush vertically and just brush along the lashes and it will just pick up any lashes that need to be coated. In the 70s, blusher was quite prominent. It was very placed onto the apples, but also brought up to the higher points of the cheek area. And doing that, I'm gonna be using the Pot Rouge in the shade Pale Pink. With the Pot Rouges, because they're a cream, you can either use your fingers or a brush. I'm gonna use the Full Coverage Face Brush just to give me more of a diffused finish. So taking the Pot Rouge, I also love to just press it onto my hands first. You want to smile, look into your mirror, and place this first onto the apples of the cheeks. And you'll notice that I'm doing pressing and pushing motions. This will just help to really bounce the product onto the cheeks and still give it that natural soft finish. I'm then gonna take it just a little bit further up towards the side of the eyes and up to the temple. This was super popular in the 70s, that really flushed and high lifted diffused blush and the pop of pink just really, really works with the eye makeup. Just to be a little bit extra for the glow, I'm going in with the Pink Glow Highlighting Powder. I'm just gonna use the angled face brush just to sweep and place from the top of the cheek and up towards the temple. So just bouncing it on top of the Pot Rouge and you can already see there that it's giving me that really beautiful bright pop it not only gives you that glow, but it brightens the skin and makes your skin look super healthy. 
and for an all over glow you can also add a little bit onto the bridge of the nose, tip of the nose, top of the lip so the cupid's bow and a little bit on the chin. To finish off the look I'm going in with my lip colour. I've already slightly softly outlined my lips using the Ballet Pink lip pencil but I'm going to go in now with the crushed lip colour in the shade buff. What I love about the crushed lip colours is that they're really really nourishing. They're more like a balm stain like finish. So all there's left to get ready is my hair and my outfit so I'm going to get into that right now. Hair done, outfit on and that was my easy 1970s disco theme themed Halloween makeup. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did and if you do have any questions please don't hesitate to pop them into the comments section below and we will get back to you. I hope you have a beautiful week and happy Halloween. Bye!